What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. Previously we nuked the new Campfire Tales event that came with Ever Upwards, and it was definitely worth it to hit. I don't know if you all have seen that episode or not, but there were loads of glowing insects here to take out for the nuclear ingredients that drop. Also at the end of this event we get to fight a unique Wendigo named Camp Counselor Nia, and we found out that she'll scale up 20 levels in the nuke zone being at 42. And not to mention the Nuka Cola factory was hit too when we hit this event. And that place was loaded with glowing ones. Sheesh, there were a lot. As you can see here for proof, look at all of these. This has to be one of the most underrated areas to hit. Overall, once again, it was definitely a worthwhile experience. Highly recommend for you all to go check out that episode if you missed it. I'll have a link down below in the pinned comment if you do want to check that out. Anyways, in this one we are going to be targeting the new legendary vendor that was just introduced to the game here recently on May 16th. She'll be located over here at Berkeley Springs train station. Now in the future she may switch up her locations because there were some data mine files of her being in other areas. I went over that in my previous video over a glitch that some players were disappointed about out with this legendary vendor but yeah as you can see this is what she'll look like in case you haven't seen her and something pretty interesting about where she's at it seems like she dug here because underneath this train station you can see a tunnel system but we cannot get down there whatsoever at the moment I don't know if we'll ever be able to get down there to be honest with y'all but yeah anyways believe it or not this has been a highly recommended area to hit from the community I was seeing people comment it in my previous videos and I was just like okay well I guess we can see what happens, why not? Let's get into this. Key card accepted. Keypad access granted. in two minutes unless valid cancellation code received. So unfortunately nothing happened with Legendary Vendor. Would have been pretty neat if like the prices would have dropped or we had a higher chance at getting a better weapon, armor, or melee weapon out of these random choices. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. We did test it. We bought something from this vendor when it was in a nuke zone. And we managed to get a two shot explosive harpoon gun as you can see. So just got our hopes up thinking that maybe this did chain react us to get better rewards from this so we spent some more script and as you can see it was a total letdown we got our hopes up for nothing would have been pretty awesome i mean after all nuking in this game is supposed to be the end game content hopefully bethesda after a while adds in new things to happen when we nuke certain locations i'm still on the hunt for something such as like the scorch beast queen fight that we can grind i know for a fact the community is really wanting another fight like that and i can't blame none of y'all because i do too those kind of fights are awesome to experience but not only did this hit the legendary vendor i also made sure that the nuke would hit the burrows as well as harper's ferry to in case you haven't been over there, that place is loaded with glowing ones. I know I'm kind of overusing that word, but seriously, for those of you that have experienced the burrows, please back me up. The place is loaded with them. However, these glowing ones only drop glowing meats and glowing blood. They don't drop any of the other ingredients. I'm not exactly sure why. It could be because there is so many of them down here. Also, I will mention that sometimes you can get legendaries to spawn down here, like mass legendaries. 
As you can see, look at all of these I got previously in another Nuke episode. There were loads, but sometimes when you come down here, there are none. Like, I literally got no legendaries coming down here during this nuke experiment, sadly. But I will mention, sometimes you can get lucky, and this place will be flooded with them. It is definitely a gold mine. And especially how the legendary vendor is right by this location, so you don't even really have to worry about being over encumbered, is really nice. Now above the burrows at Harper's Ferry, there are plenty of enemies to take out there with more nuclear ingredients. I will mention you can also run into a few legendaries. Once again, it's all going to depend on your RNG though, because sometimes there will be legendaries in the server, and sometimes there will not, it seems. It's just how it goes. But anyways, as for the nuked flora that's around in this general vicinity, if you are looking for Violet Flux, or Crimson Flux, you are going to really like this area. It seems like in Meyer regions, there will be loads of Crimson and Violet Flux. As you can see here, the ferns will contain the raw Violet Flux, and these funguses, near typically watery areas, will contain Crimson Flux. And once again, there are tons. So if you are in search of those ingredients, I highly recommend nuking over in this general vicinity. For one, there are once again loads of enemies that you can take out for ingredients. Well, not really down in the burrows. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies, but once again, those only drop glowing meat and glowing blood for some reason. Don't know if that's a bug or not. I'm pretty sure it's just because they're in such a mass quantity. But at Harper's Ferry, there are loads of enemies there and as well as around in this general area that you hit. Honestly, most areas in the Meyer region, you should be good to go to hit with the nuke. Once again, if you are looking for Crimson and Violet Flux. Now anyways, before I completely wrap up this nuking experiment, it seems when I did nuke over here, I also hit my buddy's base. Uh, oh my gosh. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, it was absolutely demolished. But if this ever happens, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced something like this, but if it does happen, oh, it blows. And the fastest way to do it is to actually go up to your camp that you place and repair all from there. And Let's just say this took a lot of materials to get back up and running. But I will say, if you do have a camp in a nuke zone, it does seem like it attracts more customers. Once we got it up and running, we saw more players flock here. I mean, it does make sense. After all, there's just a huge red circle on the map and also a camp inside that red circle. I can see why it attracts customers. So if you're trying to beat other people's sales around the map, this is one way to do it. You can basically be like a Walmart doing this. You're gonna get everyone's attention, but I don't recommend nuking your own camp. Unless you don't have a lot of materials invested into your camp, then hey, have at it. Do this trick to get more customers to come to you. If you just have a vending machine powered on, I mean, think about it, that isn't really much to repair. This trick could actually do you some justice on your sales. And I will mention, this isn't the first time we have nuked a camp in this series. I know there are a lot of episodes, but one time I nuked my own camp, but one time I nuked my own camp for the Tanagra Town experiment. And the reason why I did that is just because you never really see it happening. People can easily just leave the game, unless, you know, of course, they're away in their camp. But yeah, I used to have my camp over by Tanagra Town because there is a black titanium deposit there where I could farm black titanium to repair my excavator power armor. It was actually pretty useful. In case you don't know, this is where it's actually located at, in case you need some black titanium. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this nuking experiment enjoyable. This was an actual interesting experiment because a lot of the community seemed to have been curious over what happens. And not to mention, making this experiment makes more players more aware of where the legendary vendor is located at. 
I'm out of here, though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. And if you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. Your support is always greatly appreciated with the series. And if you are new around here, consider giving my channel a chance by subscribing. As always, though, that's totally up to you. I'm not trying to force it down your whole throat or nothing. I'm out of here, though, everybody. Remember to stay safe out there. Until next time, peace.